Assistive Technology in High School and Beyond When Handwriting Slows You Down, presented by Linda Beliveau. Under the Americans with Disabilities Act, every state is required to have an assistive technology center. AT in New Hampshire is the center for New Hampshire and provides demonstrations and offers loans. AT in New Hampshire is a library of assistive technology. Anyone can become a member of the library and check out assistive technology, borrow it for 45 days. And the other thing that AT in New Hampshire provides is trainings. The website Growing Hands-On Kids states that handwriting is a complex skill of using language by pencil grip, letter formation, and body posture. There are many skills involved in handwriting, including vision, eye-hand coordination, muscle memory, body posture control, as well as pencil grasp and letter formation. Writing is a cognitive process that benefits from active engagement, active engagement in the pre-writing, the drafting, the editing, and the publishing. A continuum of assistive technology should be considered, starting with low-tech technology and moving up toward high-tech technology. Here is an example of starting off by taking a look at the seating and moving toward a more high-tech assistive technology word prediction. Assistive technology for writing is considered an acceleration technique and is scalable for different levels of need. A good seated position for writing is feet flat on the floor with the knees at a 90 degree angle, back straight, forearms resting on the desk, and paper stabilized with dominant hand. Ergopedia is the ergonomic encyclopedia, can be found on the website and can offer a lot of different seating adaptations, such as book holders, document holders, foot rests, and forearm supports. Two examples of assistive technology to support writing are forearm supports, and they come in a variety of different sizes and styles, some of which can be clamped right to the writing surface. And another assistive technology to support writing is the slant board, and they also come in a variety of different sizes and styles with adjustability and also with clips that can hold down the paper to eliminate the need to hold down the paper with the non-dominant hand so that an individual who experiences difficulty using two hands can use a low-tech assistive technology like a slant board to be successful. Pencil and pen grips are a low-tech assistive technology that can increase the speed and accuracy of writing. When a grasp is not functional, an assistive technology can be considered. There are so many different designs of pens and pencils and pencil grips. The Right Stuff is a website that is a wonderful resource of all of the variety of different grips that are available. The picture on the left is a picture of the guided hands. The guided hands is a pencil grip that includes forearm supports and it has a track to help support left right movement and another track to support up and down movement. A crossword puzzle page can be attached to the clipboard or this can be used with a stylus to access a tablet. As we move toward more mid-tech assistive technology as a handwriting alternative using an on-screen keyboard using a tablet. There are also a variety of different stylus that are available to once again support an individual's grasp of that tool. The definition of assistive technology includes any item that is aimed to improve the functional capabilities of an individual with a disability. And when it comes to handwriting, adapted paper just might be the assistive technology to help to include, in, increase speed and accuracy. At printablepaper.net, there are a variety of templates 
that can be printed out and examples of adaptive paper that can help individuals with their writing needs is graph paper for clear spatial alignment and arrangement of numbers and that might be large graph paper or graph paper with bold lines. Um, some writers might need bold baselines such as the picture in the slide, colored spaces, increased spaces to help to support visual perception deficits or visual motor challenges. Adaptive paper is also widely available in digital formats through desktop versions or via apps for tablets and they offer different colors, they offer graph paper that's of a large grid graph paper, um, as well as bolded lines. Anything that's available in a printable format is also available in a digital format. Just a few examples are the Notability app, Microsoft OneNote, which is available via desktop or on an app, and the GoodNotes app, where you can create an entire notebook with adaptive paper. Assistive technology to support handwriting should also be considered for artist types of drawing requirements as well as annotating or, or diagramming. Educreations is an app for the iPad. There's a variety of different authoring tools that include colors and different markers that can be overlaid on top of a map or a diagram so the learner can illustrate with ease or diagram or annotate with more ease than using a typical pencil or marker. AutoDraw is a Chrome extension and that offers a specific assistive technology of picture prediction so the, the learner can um, draw out a semi-complete picture and AutoDraw will offer some suggestions it will predict such as if the drawer starts to draw off draw a triangle AutoDraw will predict a variety of different images such as a pizza so the learner doesn't have to complete the actual picture but just tap on what's predicted in the picture prediction toolbar Writing templates are an assistive technology to support weakness with handwriting. There are various apps that can offer handwriting support or the ability to demonstrate understanding without having to handwrite. One of them is Bitsboard. Bitsboard offers a variety of different activities with letter tiles and letter tiles can be dragged into place to demonstrate spelling without having to physically handwrite. There is Word Wizard, which is a very similar type of app um, where the letters are dragged into place to demonstrate spelling of words or even the writing of sentences. And there are a variety of magnetic tiles that are available. These are this is an example of some prefix magnetic tiles that are available at really good stuff. And so demonstrating understanding of multisyllabic words can be demonstrated using magnetic tiles. Mid tech technology that offers pre-made letters and pre-made words can support active engagement for learners who have a difficult time with typical handwriting as a way to demonstrate their understanding, as a way to actively engage with new knowledge. There's Learning Chocolate. Learning Chocolate is a website and it offers a variety of different activities in different topics and it also offers a variety of different ways that the learner can interact. They can tap and drag and match, or they can use their voice. Live Worksheets is another web-based alternative to having to demonstrate with handwriting, and it offers a lot of activity that, once again, 
alters the way that a learner will demonstrate knowledge. They can tap and they can drag the answer into place. And live worksheets would also provide the learner with formative feedback on their responses. Word processors are a consideration to support an individual who experiences challenges with handwriting. Word processors come in a variety of different sizes. They come in a variety of different operating systems, so it's important to understand the learner and what is the right tool for the task. There might be a learner who requires a desktop so they can have proper proper seating, and there might be another learner who wants a small tablet because what's important to them is portability. Using a word processor as an assistive technology would also require using word processing software. There is a lot to choose from. Um, Microsoft Word, Google Docs, Pages, Open Office. Consideration should be given to what familiarity the learner might have already with a particular word processing software so as to not introduce anything new. Uh, Microsoft Word and Office 365 is not free, but it offers the learner the ability to access their word processing software on a variety of different devices. So what are the features that are a part of the word processing software that benefit the learner? A word processor as an assistive technology might also require an alternative access method as a way to input information, such as a large high contrasting keyboard. A lot of the keyboards are available via Bluetooth, so an alternative keyboard can be used with an iPad, with an Android device, or with a desktop computer. A variety of different keyboards are available as an on-screen keyboard, and that can reduce visual shift from down at the keyboard to up at the monitor. And there is also voice typing, which should be given consideration as an alternative access method as a way to think about what are some alternative handwriting tools. Voice typing should be given some consideration. Assistive technology is all about supporting the unique profile of the learner. Here are some alternative keyboards that support individuals who experience low vision or who experience blindness. Key locator dots can be purchased and they can be attached to the keyboard to help with tactile navigation. There are keyboard skins that can be purchased and they can be purchased with high contrasting colors or preferred colors for individuals who experience some cortical vision impairment. And inside, embedded in the operating system, our, there are settings, accessibility settings, such as sticky keys, and when sticky keys are turned on, it reduces the need to press two keys at once. Filter keys, when filter keys is turned on, it will ignore repeated keystrokes, and toggle keys will provide a tone or a beep each time the cap locks key or the num lock key or the scroll lock key is turned on. So some additional multi-sensory feedback can be added to a keyboard. When assistive technology is considered to help support and bring success, consideration should be given to the need for training, keyboarding, word processors, and word processing software involves the skill of keyboarding and GCF Global, as well as many other typing websites, can provide some training and practice with being able to successfully keyboard as a handwriting alternative. 
Word prediction is an assistive technology that can help to support the writing process in a variety of different ways. It can help to increase the speed and accuracy of writing by reducing the keystrokes that are required. And it can help it can help writers to write at grade level by providing word bank supported writing. Clicker Writer is an app for uh, iPad or it's available as a Chrome extension or is also available in a desktop version and it can provide word prediction and also it can provide word bank supported writing. CoWriter is another app for an iPad or is also available for the Chromebook and it provides talk talking topic dictionaries. You would turn on a topic dictionary such as Abraham Lincoln and when a letter AB is typed what's going to pop up in the word prediction window are words that are all associated to the Abraham, Abraham Lincoln topic dictionary. So with an AB you would get the whole word spelled out. Proloquo for text can provide some phrase based writing so that can greatly reduce the keystrokes that are required to express one's, oneself via a entirely different authoring tool, and that would be phrase-based writing. Audio note takers can be a digital assistive technology that can support the writing process when the task is note taking. The LiveScribe pen is a smart pen that has a recording device built into the pen and it is used with special paper and the, the papers have lightly colored dots on them so it works like GPS and wherever that pen is touched and a, a certain word is identified it will match the word on the notebook page with the audio that was was recorded with that word. So that's a specific feature of the LiveScribe pen. There are a lot of smart pens that are available, each with, with their unique set of features. Not all of them required specialized dotted paper. There is Notability. Notability is an app for the iPad, and it includes an audio note taker. An a profile of someone who has slow handwriting, likes to use the pencil or the pen, that is their preferred method, but they are slow and they can't keep up with the lecture. If that is combined with an audio note taker, they can listen to the notes at a later time and they can fill in their notes so that they also are able to produce a complete set of notes for a study guide or for later use. Voice typing is an assistive technology that can support a profile of an individual who has all of the, the thoughts to write about in their head and they can speak them a lot faster than they can write them with a pencil or a pen or with a, a keyboard and Voice typing is embedded in a lot of operating systems as well as embedded in word processing software. Um, iPads and iOS have it as part of the keyboard tool, so a, an individual can flip-flop, they can type a little bit, they can dictate a little bit. Google Voice typing is available via Google Docs and all of the Google suite of software. Office 365 as, has a dictate icon as part of the word processing ribbon. Oftentimes, what is required is that the profile needs to have typical speech so that they can get the accuracy. If there is a lack of typical speech, then a lot of inaccuracy will create some frustration and maybe the audio note taker that was referenced in the, the slide preceding this one is a better assistive technology tool. Please email any questions or comments that you may have to lynda.beliveau at unh.edu or please give me a call at the number below. Thank you.